Hi guys, today we are talking about backside 5050s. They feel amazing, but they are difficult, even when you know how to ollie and backside 180. Sometimes you can't lock into the right place. In my case, I started skating transitions first, and I thought it was going to be easy to do these tricks on the flat ledge. Turned out, they are harder to me, and sometimes I still struggle landing basic ledge tricks. Even today, sometimes I land them like feeble, forward slide, wheelie grind, or sometimes I totally miss the ledge. In this series, we will study why those problems happen according to the laws of physics, using 3D models as the usual. Although I may not be good at ledge skating, I believe there are things that not good skaters such as myself can tell. Trust me, I'm not going to say just only higher without letting you understand why you have to do that. Hopefully, I can give you a different perspective that you didn't have before. You're watching Why the Trick, and today we are going to study a trick scientifically. A backside 50-50 is one fascinating feeling trick. The feeling of the grip of trucks and the feeling that the metal truck's wearing out right below your feet is something that you can't feel in the daily life. And I want everyone to know how it feels like, but this one's a lot harder than frontside 50-50s, and it always comes with problems. So let's start with a breakdown of the problems. They can be classified into several types as follows. Number 1. A problem that you can't lock in. You may wind up landing like feeble, board slide, or wheelie grind. Number 2. A problem that you can't hold the grind. This is when you have to step up to the heel side, or you wind up getting off the ledge sooner than you want. And number 3. A problem that you can't pop out properly. Based on my observation, I believe the first one is the biggest problem for the majority of people. Now that we know the symptoms, let's also talk about solutions. We will just focus on one thing this time, the timing. I think this is one of the most crucial parts comes to proper locking in. And since we are talking about time, let's try something radical and think backward. Imagine this is when you're grinding. This time, rather than talking about how to do it from the beginning, let's reverse the process and try to think what it takes to get here. By doing this, I think it's going to be easier to sort out problems in a sequence. So by the time you grind, your body has to be at the right place over the ledge. This posture and the weight distribution may vary depending on the speed and approach angle and everything. So let's just say it should be somewhere around here. And for your body to be able to be here, obviously, you have to jump and pop at some point in time. And finally, to pop, if you further go back in time, you first have to crouch down. Okay, now we know what it takes to make this trick. To grind, our bodies have to be at the right place. And to do that, we have to pop properly. And to pop, we have to crouch down. Let's also think about how they are connected to each other. In fact, the most important part is in the beginning. As you crouch down, your body gains downward momentum, which pushes your entire body downward, making it harder to jump up. And if you try to pop at the same time, that downward momentum generated by your body going down and the upward momentum generated by the pop will squash your legs. As a result, no matter how hard you try to pop, you simply can't lift up your body high enough because of the timing. And since you don't have enough time in the air, you can't adjust the angle of your board effectively, and you may land either feeble or forward slide. In other words, if you don't time the step number 1 properly, both number 2 and 3 will not happen. Okay, so what can we do to avoid this? Just jump up higher? It's not wrong. In fact, sometimes you do have to utilize the concept of squash. By doing this, you can tighten your muscles so that you can generate even more energy to jump up higher. But in my case, 
the ledge I'm skating is 30 centimeters high, so I'll be talking about how to get on a similar height of ledge. Once again, according to the physics, going against a downward momentum is the main cause of the problem. What we need to understand here is that the downward momentum doesn't last forever. Imagine when you fall from a height. As you land, you have to absorb an impact. But that feeling goes away soon, right? Just like that, that downward momentum gained by crouching down lasts only for a short duration of time. This is because joints and muscles of our bodies absorb such energy and convert it into heat. The point is, we don't have to do all this intentionally. Instead, this happens as a reaction of our bodies. So, if we want to avoid fighting the downward momentum, why don't we just wait? In other words, by keeping your posture for a short duration of time after crouching down, you can automatically let your muscles and joints absorb such downward momentum. By doing that, not only can you disperse the downward energy, you can also stabilize your body axis by being able to jump up with a smaller amount of energy. In addition to this concept, always keep in mind the difference between the functions of your thighs and calves. Pops are usually done by calves, which is not strong enough to lift up your body. Instead, it is your thighs that plays a role. So make sure to focus on stretching out your legs first and pop after that. In summary, number one, crouch down and wait until the downward momentum disappears, which happens naturally. Let's be grateful to the millions of years of evolution of our bodies. Number two, start lifting up your body by using your thighs. Don't just pop yet. Number three, pop only when your body has momentum to go up. If you do it right, your body and board should be going up separately like this. And that's all for this episode. Hope you learned something useful. If you have any idea, please share your thoughts with us. I'll be talking more about this trick for a while. Any requests, comments are always welcome. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.